Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Anonymous Channel. Today we're going back to Blood Bounce, and it's chapter 12. Last time we played, Camilla is uh, coughed by the clanless, and I hope she's gonna be fine. Well. Let's start the game. Chapter 12 The Tribunal. You stand at the entrance of the Shadow Den as a group of gods drags forward a prisoner, Camilla. Oh my god. <laughs> Camilla! What's going on? They are coming for us. This is war. War. They know where, where we are? We have to abandon the Shadow Den. Stake her. Oh my god. No, don't. <laughs> Silence. Camila Said? Yes, I'll explain. Don't bother. Your presence is an aggressive act. Oh, damn it. The only possible response is immediate and deadly force. Wait, please! Oh my god. Death to the council. Death to her. Wait! I will... I will... Run to Camilla's side, yeah. You run over to Camilla putting yourself between her and the amazing crowd. Stop, Jax! I know her! I'm sure she doesn't mean her! Whose side are you on? She protected me, Jax. She fought for me. She's on the right side. Thank you, Lily, Alice. But I can't handle myself. Oh no. Don't start a fight, Camilla. I will, in private. This crowd doesn't look like the reason inside. Fine, follow me. You're just letting her walk? To hell with that! And with lighter blah 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 blah. Imbecile. <laughs> Enough! I'll handle this. All of you stay calm. As the crowd rages and seethes, Jax leads you to his room, blah 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 behind you. You may release her. You do know I could have killed you all if I wanted to, right? So I didn't you? I'm not here for work. I just want Lily and Alice. I need their help. Help? With what? The council, in all their wisdom, is accusing Adrian of being responsible for all the... the uh, oh no! As well as the attack on the ball. What? They're wrong! Of course they are, but they're having a tribunal for him anyway. A tribunal? Yes, and I need you two to come testify on his behalf. Of course! Whatever we need to do. It's a very serious accus accusation. I don't understand. Who's accusing him? I can't get into the details here. Oh, I'm sorry, am I bothering you? You know in the middle of my own room? Watch your tone, pop. I could break you in a heartbeat. Oh, hey. Let's, uh, let's all chill out and talk this through. This tribunal is clan politics. A coup. Well, we will help in any way we can. You can provide testimony relating to Adrian's whereabouts, the night of the ball. Come in. Jax, we have to leave immediately. It's not that easy. Camilla is a clan leader. She can't just waltz in and out of here. But she's explained why she came. Just to get me and Lily, right? Correct. Believe it or not, I couldn't care less about your cozy little clubhouse down here. It's the Shadow Den. Whatever. How did you even find us? We've got to great lengths to keep this location secret. You knowing where it 
is put our entire population in danger. I'm afraid I can't just let you go. Oh, for God's sake, Adrian and I have known about this location of the Shadow Den for years. What? Yes, but we've allowed it because your lot is far less trouble in a controlled location than you would be scattered about. You're all in one place, you're easy to track and monitor and contain. You have spies in our midst? No offense, Pop, but I've been playing this game a lot longer than you've been alive. Yeah, well, you're in my den, and I'm pre pretty damn sure you can't take all of us. Tex, hang on. If Camilla is telling the truth, it's actually proof that they mean, no, they mean you no harm. Maybe they're just waiting for the right moment to strike. Then why would I blow my plane by marching here, right in here, genius? Jax, please listen when I tell you that Adrian and Camilla are probably your best potential allies. If you let us go, Alice and I can go with Camilla to testify for Adrian, it'll strengthen that alliance. Without allies on the console, you'll never get the clanless accepted. Come on, Jax. Please trust me. You know I want the best for you. You know I'm sympathetic to your cause. Please let us go with Camilla. We'll come back and help Pinky Swear. Even if I went through with this, I'd have a tough time explaining it to my people. Please? And it would go against my better judgment. You will not regret it. Fine, you're free to go, but do not take advantage of my trust. We won't. Listen, this has been having you here. I hope we'll see each other again. Jax, I thank you for everything. It was nothing. No, it was definitely something. You were there when we needed you most. You kept us safe. You made me feel safe. Not to mention, you got me this amazing outfit. I won't forget our time here. Neither will I. Take them all out the eastern emergency exit so no one sees. Thank you. Just go. You and Lily accompany Camilla out of the shadow den through the city. And back to her office at Amanet Financial. Well, we got out there a bit faster than I expected, and I didn't even have to kill anyone. I'm hoping that's a joke, but I know you well enough by now to highly doubt that. What do we do now? Well, we have about an hour before we're due at the cavern for Adrian's tribunal. What's the cavern? Neutral ground for the clans to work things out. Technically speaking, it's an old underground vampire temple. I liked every word in that sentence. In the meantime, we can rest here, where it's a bit more comfortable. This place is so cool. <laughs> Are those daggers? Is that a spear? In that mask? Is that mas mask cursed? You mean cursed mask? Or are curses real? Huh. Looking at it, you have flashes of vision. Oh, okay. Another vision. Take a look. I think the head part will be the last part of the photo. Thousands of years ago in the de deserts of Egypt. Inside a military command tent, blah 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 blah. Oh, okay. Oh my god, you are goddamn hot, Camilla. Perhaps some assault along the river. What is it? Good, send him in. What news on the front? Tragic, I'm afraid. We are in danger of losing the war. What? How could this be? 
Octavian has put the city of Alexandria, Alexandria under siege. Then why do we not meet him in battle? Where's Mark Antony? He has lost most of his army, attempting to flank the forces of Pinarius, a fool's errand. He will doom us all. My cousin should never have entrusted him with our campaign. If she had listened, if she had just trusted me, it seems surrender is imminent. No. I will never surrender to the Romans, no matter what the Queen's orders. Be careful what you say, my lady. That sounds like a treason. They are fighting with Roman. They are having a war. Perhaps it is, but I will not sit idly by while Cleopatra hands her kingdoms over the Romans. I will have my justice or die trying. If you wish to leave, I will not stop you. I will never leave you. I am your loyal servant to the end. What of our raid on the Roman supply train? No, they were, they, we were successful. We took them completely by surprise. We destroyed the two dozens wagons and killed at least 30 Romans. The loss of supplies will surely hurt their forces. Excellent. Then everything went according to my plan. Yes, but there was another development. We took a prisoner, a soldier with incredibly speed and skill. He somehow survived being stabbed in the chest and shot with half a dozen ar arrows. It took most of my men to pin him down, but once we got him chained, he stopped fighting. The undying centurion is real? So it will seem. Bring him now. Greetings, oh, this guy. So he's Roman, I thought he was friends. And you are the Noma who continue to fax me. I must say, I have been impressed with your tactics, striking at night, getting out supplies, refusing to take prisoners. There are few willing to askew the convention of warfare like that. You are a true jackal. I am honored to meet you. I will be honored to end you. <laughs> Come now, don't be rash. The Egyptian armies are nearly defeated. The war will soon be over. Surely we can find some common ground. The war will never be over, not from me. Ah, I see. This is personal, is it? You are looking for vengeance. The Romans took someone from you. I believe that is enough about me. It is you I am interested in. I am an open book before you. For months, my people have come to me with tales of the undying centurion. Who can survive any wound? They say he fight like a god. A generous compliment. I wonder if it's true, can he survive any wound or is it merely a myth, brought about by the boast of a single man desperate for recognition. One cannot control the spread of such stories, that is how legend works. Inevitably, the stories grow much greater than... <laughs> Oof. Satisfied? It is true! Demon! Demon! Yes, the legends are true. Which is why this is your last chance, Nomar. We can still come to some arrangement. There are ancient legends among my people. Legends that tell of demons from the underworld that walk the earth. They feed on blood and cannot be killed by any blade. It is said that these creatures fear only two things, silver chains and sunlight. So tell me, undying centurion, will you still pose before the rising sun? 
impressive. These legends of Euro sound quite accurate. They seem to have gotten one key detail wrong though. Oh, and what's that? Silver chains. Don't do damn thing. Come on as I go. Okay, the chain. He broke the chains, right? Guards. Protect Camilla. Enough. Finally, a challenge. Oh, look at his eyes. Or not. <laughs> uh, you snake. This is two of us now. Such hustlery. Your reign of terror ends here. Of course you can make an enemy of those guys here. I will kill you. Your strength, your passion, your fury. I haven't seen like. If you are going to kill me, demon, just do it. I was going to kill you, but I've changed my mind. Now that I've, I have seen your potential, I'm going to give you a gift instead. And I'm going to turn you into something incredible. And what's that? My queen. Okay. So that's how Camilla became a vampire. What was that? You found a fragment of the mysterious portrait. And I believe it's Gaius' portrait. Alice? Are you alright? Yeah, I... When you glance down, the fragment is gone. Sorry, just spaced out for a second. Right. Well, I need to know if either of you saw anything on the night of the ball that I should know about. You mean, with Adrian? Yeah. No! Not at all. Good, just wanted to be sure. The council will want to hear that from you. Do you doubt Adrian's innocence? Do you know why he's being targeted? I have my suspicions. Which are? That he has too much empathy for mortals. And why would that be bad? It puts him at risk as a council leader. Our mandate is to keep the vampire leadership strong, concentrated, and unchallenged. And seeing things from the point of view of mortals, or even the clanless, puts that at risk. Something so, anyway. Do you? It's a cannon room. I think Adrian weakness is also his best quality, but I don't disagree what it makes him vulnerable. Anyway, there's nothing left to do but wait for the tribunal. I'm going up to the rooftop to relax with a drink and a swim. Lily, don't break anything. I'll try, but no promises. Alice, you're welcome to join me if you wish. Hell yeah! <laughs> oh, look at that! I never say no to a hot lady. A goddamn hot lady, just look at that. Mm-hmm. You follow Camilla into a private elevator, which takes you up to the building's roof. A gorgeous glittering pool lies before you, it's a very sparkling with the lights of the stars overhead. Whoa, and I thought Adrian's rooftop restaurant was nice. <laughs> Adrian finds solace in the company of others, I find it in solitude. Swimming here alone under the stars is bringing peace. But you invited me up here. So I did. And drink? 
something strong perhaps? Oh, whatever you are having. It's a rock, distilled from any seed. It's certain, certainly strong, yes, that's what makes it good. Thank you for being there for Adrian and for me and Lily. I've known Adrian a long time, he'd do the same for me. Knowing him, he probably will. He probably. Bleh, he probably will. So thanks. Oh! <laughs> you're taking your clothes off? That's a thing you're doing. Well, I'm not going to swim in my suit. Isn't it cold? Are you coming in? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's what I say. It's gotta be cold. It's funny. What is? How old are you, Alice? 21? 22. I can almost remember being that age. I thought I knew everything. I thought I felt all where there was to feel. I imagine you feel so. <coughs> tongue work. I imagine you feel much the same way. I, I guess. I mean, I feel like I've experienced a lot. Have you ever been in love? Um, once. Oh, it was my college girlfriend. Of course, I made Alice to be gay. I raised Alice to be gay, not a straight girl. Gay girl, all right. Okay, great. Gay guy? Mm-hmm. Meh. No. Hell no. Jennifer or Jessica or something, I presume. No, Kyle actually. Same thing. No, it's not. <laughs> I can't keep all these 21st century names straight. Go on. She was the nicest girl. Adorable, smart. She had it all mapped out. We'd move in together, work on our career, career, careers, get married, babies... Uh, how do you have babies? No, you can't, Alice. Except you're adopting a baby. I realized I wasn't quite ready for that. I wanted to travel, volunteer abroad, move to the New York, experience things. Hmm, you made the right choice. I know, but it was hard. She was a great girl, still is. It was just bad timing. And you love Lily as well. I... Yeah, there's something there. I see. I don't understand. Why are you asking me this? Mere curiosity. It's been a while since I've spent time with someone with so many attachments. The company of vampires tend to make you jaded. It's nice to be with someone so uncynical, so open to the new possibilities. I suppose it's just efficient, given how little time you really have. Thanks for reminding me my days are numbered. Huh. Camilla? Hmm? What with the frown, Daniel? No, they don't. You love Adrian. <laughs> I'm quite fond of him, yes, which perhaps itself is an illusion, because he reminds me of my brother. But you have loved many times, and lost just as many. Two thousand years is a long time. It defies imagining. 
Are you the oldest vampire in the United States? Yes. There used to be another, but well, never mind that. It doesn't matter. Any feelings they're faded long, long ago. Oh, okay. The truth is, sometimes I think that perhaps I'm not actually capable of feeling much of anything anymore. I feel distant, removed from humanity, from everything. Come on. I'm simply stating the fact. Do not pity me. I don't. I will not. I pity is not what I feel towards you. Oh, what do you feel? Connection, admiration. Oh, please. I mean, I mean it, Camilla. You're amazing. I shall. <laughs> You're gonna kiss her. That's not even a choice. Come on. I'm sorry, I just don't. She leans in again, her lips grazing yours. <laughs> hey, 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 look at that! I made it again! She slides on her. No, 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 no. Two of you kiss slowly, gently. No, 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 no. Because I. <laughs> oh, wow. That's the right word. <laughs> You guys can lie by the pool. The deepest kiss. The deepest kiss ever. This has been lovely, but it's almost time for the tribunal. Okay, right. Let's go get Lily and see if my office is still intact. <laughs> that just happened, right? Yeah, that just happened. Okay, before you say anything, I swear that face just felt... <laughs> and also you whine. <laughs> right. <laughs> Are you too ready for the tribunal? <laughs> ready as I'll ever be. Best excuse of the year. <laughs> what? It is perhaps a more professional look will help here. Something that shows how serious you are about defending Adrian. Do you have something in mind? As a matter of fact, I do. Honestly, I like the leather jacket one. I mean, the leather outfit or whatever you call. It's better, seriously, but, well, whatever. He duck into a bathroom and emerge a few minutes later, change. How do I look? Objection! You look amazing! How is that an objection? <laughs> I don't know, I'm just doing a bit. The crowd list is correct, you do look remarkable. Defense her attorney. <laughs> now come, the tribunal awaits. A short while later, Camilla leads you and Lily through Central Park. Where are we going exactly? I told you, the cavern. Right, but, but where is it? It won't be much of a secret meeting place if it was easy to find, no would it? Whoa! It's an old underground camera. Amazing! And spooky. A mooky. <laughs> spooky, a mooky. Hello, camera. Nicole. Alice, looking sharp. Thanks. I wanted to speak to you all before the tribunal begins. Yes? Is there anything I need to know beforehand? 
anything about what happened the night of the ball about Adrian? No. Are you going to spoil him? Yes or no? Yeah. What? Of course. Okay, good. I know he's innocent and look forward to sharing everything I know. Whatever I can do to help. I'm... Be assured, Nicole, there's nothing you don't know here. Adrian is being set up, plain and simple. My instincts say this was a false accusation. Adrian has his flaws, but he'd never turn ferals. He's a sticker, stickler for the rules, if nothing else. The only question is who is behind this? Alice? Priya Lacroix. Hey, Mosala. As the eldest council member, it is incumbent, incumbent upon me to preside over this, this tribunal. Serious charges have been leveled against Adrian Reynes. Charges of deliberately sabotaging the council pact against an and Anatorized turnings. A charge like this by a council member against a fellow council member must be considered and dealt with appropriately. Let us begin, so I as to conclude swiftly and justly. Do we even know who is accusing him? No, Camilla didn't tell us. Who do you think it is? It's gotta be the Baron. That's what I was thinking. I mean, the dude is basically the penguin. And he's definitely- Oh, wait a minute, come to think of it, I think it's Priya, because Priya is, is so eager to, to get Alice to her side. Oh, God. I really think it's Priya now. Um, first, a statement from the accuser. Will Adam Vega please stand and present your case against Adrian? Oh, Vega is the one who accused Adrian. Adrian Reyes has broken the pact that has kept this city safe for nearly a century. He has been flagged turning new vampires, resulting in a glut of ferals, widespread attacks, and the loss of two, 27 li lives at the awakening ball. Lies! I mean, if if Adrian turning, uh, turning people illegally, he wouldn't even ask to turn Lily as his clan. Really? Do you have any proof? Of course, I will never make baseless accusation. A member of my clan got me access to the security locks from Marcel's castle. The key card used to open the gate for the ferals was Adrian's. And the thing he accused me. My key card was stolen from me earlier in the night. This whole thing is a setup. Adrian, let Vega speak and you will get your turn. Secondly, I've managed to track down the identities of all of the ferals who attacked the ball, and every last one of them was a former ra Ooh. Ooh, damn. Damn. This'll be really hard on us. I can submit a proof of all of this to the council. He hands Camilla a folder full of research documents. Even if that's true, which I mean, I doubt it is, it doesn't which he did it, right? Damn, Adrian, I never trusted your whole outside guardy two shock stick. But this? Really? You're one sick puppy kid, 
and that's coming from me. Can I call witnesses on my behalf, please? Let's get it over with. A call forward to open minds. Open minds? What, did, what does that mean? Any vampires who's worth anything knows how to guard their thought. But humans are and baby fans like your friend are an open book. Alice, I regret we meet again under such circumstances. Circumstances? But my abilities aren't limited to the briefings, you see. I can reach into minds in other ways. Okay, hang on, Sergeant Pepper. Here's gonna read my mind. <laughs> because for disclosure, things get pretty weird up in there. I can't read your thoughts, no. But I can tell if you're lying. Think of me as an invaluable polygraph. I'm really, I'm ready. Let's start. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not planning to. I'm not trying to lie. No hesitation. I knew I liked you for a reason. I know Andrea's innocent. Why would I hesitate? Let's get this clown show over with. Yeah, what she said. No more clowns. Lily Spencer, please stand. Weird. Lily, when Adrian turned you, did he take that act like lightly? Not at all. I know he agonized over it, and then fought to petition for petition me into his clan after the fact. He took it very seriously. He speak the truth. I have one, only one question for you, Lily. Did he or did he not turn you without your permission? Yes, it was unplanned, but that was only because... No more questions. I never saw him turn anyone else. I said no more questions. Thank you. Where's figure so determined to pin this on Adrian? Alice, please stand. You step forward as you do, Priya Grins. Mm-hmm, looking like real snake, Alice. Alice, on the night of the ball, were you Adrian's guest? Yes, I was. And do you have any recollection of where his keeper was on that night? No, I'm not. Yes, in fact, I heard him say at one point that he had lost it. So maybe someone took... No one asked you to speculate. I know he didn't do any turnings or let in any ferals on that night. He never would have done that. And was he within your sight for the entire night? No. Not every single minute, no. Then wishful thinking aside, I'm not sure how can how you can assure us that he could not have done these things. Because I know him. Because I know how the feels about the pact and the ferals. I'm not here for your feelings, Alice. All I care about is fact. And you yourself admit there were periods of the night when Adrian was unaccounted for. Which means your testimony is functionally useless. But I think we're done here. Unbelievable, you backstabbing worm figure. Tell me this, why? Why would I possibly turn ferals? Why would I harm my own kind? Because in your heart, Adrian, we're not your kind. You've never embraced being a vampire. You've always longed for humanity. That's why you made the serum. Serum, is it? Oh, he knew about the serum. How do you know about that? What are you talking about? What serum? Oh, with it, figure. I have it on good authority that, for the past year, a team of Rainus Corporation researchers has been hard at work on top secret project, a serum that could effectively turn vampires back into mortals. Well, admit it, no such serum exists at the moment, but you are working on it, are you not? I have been. Are you out of your mind? How could you even imagine a thing like that? 
That's your goal. It's been your uh, goal all along to help us out our entire race. He's a traitor to our kind. I knew we couldn't trust him. I call dips on his stuff. Quiet. Alice, is there anything you would like to add? Yeah, just you can all go right. To oh my god. I mean. I mean, begging won't do anything good. So, I'm gonna swear to more. This tribunal is a sham. Sham? Based on a completely fictional accusation. It's clearly a malicious attempt to frame Adrian. And if you go along with it, you will suffer the consequences. Who is this girl to threaten the to threaten consequences. Karma is a bitch, and your betrayal will be punished tenfold down the road. I'll make sure of it. Oh, please, whatever. Shall we vote? All in favor of conviction for Adrian, say I. 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 Nay. I take him away. No, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Alice. What's going on? We need to destroy the serum. The council must take possession of Adrian's corporation immediately. I'm claiming this one. Let her go now. Oh my god, sorry to rain on your orgy, Priya. But they are both accomplices, which make their fate subject to the council. We'll need to make sure they don't have any more information. I'd be happy to handle that. Ah, are you going to kill them? Sure, after I told to the hell out of them first. You psycho. Grab them. I should. I should. Damn! Those choices are useless. Well, it's useless fight against vampires, so I'm gonna run. You make a break for the exit with Lily following, but the parents' guns are on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Vampire's speed is. is. above human. Stop now! You made a great mistake with Adrian. Do not compound it by dragging these two into it as well. They're accomplices! The laws of the council don't co cover accomplices. I say they are both under my protection. I'll handle them. I will only say it one last time. Call off your men unless you want to see what I'm capable of. I... You don't. Fine. Wise choice. Oh my god, what just happened? Is that it? The council has made its decision. So, to hell with them! It's not that simple. It's four clans against one. They will destroy us. So what do we do? Nothing. Oh god, there, there has... There, there's gotta be something. Camilla, are you okay? I mean, none of us are okay, but I'm sorry, this feels like... Never mind, yeah. God damn it. Apologies. What's going to happen to Adrian? He's gonna die, stupid. We'll keep him... No, he's not. 
I gave him present somewhere for about the next six hours. And then he'll meet the sun. Yeah. I'll stand with my word. He's gonna die. Oh my god, is there something we can do to save him, folk? Damn, this chapter is fun and intense in at the same time. Woo! Damn! I can't wait for the next chapter, really. Oh, yeah. This is gonna be fun. Mm, my theory is we're gonna have a have a backup from the planets. I really think that 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 will happen on the next chapter. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that what will happen on the next chapter. Well, anyway, if you like the video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, have a nice day.